Hi, and welcome to Aperture, an exciting new tool from PySource. Aperture is like a superpower for your AEM installation. It empowers you to create image galleries from folders in your DAM or other assets folders, complete with AI-driven auto-tagging, search, and a whole lot more. In this video, we will walk through installing Aperture, configuring AEM to use it, and finally, we'll build a page and include an Aperture Powered Gallery so you can see how quickly we can be up and running. Okay, let's get started. First, let's navigate to our instance of AEM. I'll log in as admin. Then, once we're in, let's go to Tools. What we're trying to do here is bring up the package manager in CRXDE so we can install Aperture. Here we go. Next, we need to upload packages. We have two things to install. There's Aperture, which you've heard about, but also this second package, something called Quasar. Now, remember earlier when I mentioned in passing something about AI auto tagging? That's what Quasar does. Okay, so we've started with Quasar and uh, installing package. Let's go back for Aperture. There. Okay. And install. There you go. That's all there is to installation. Now let's configure AEM. First, we're going to enter our API key in the web console and go here. Okay, so this screen is pretty busy that we can save some time by doing a plain search for Quasar using Control F or Command F, depending on your platform. Then we'll look for the result that reads PySource configuration. This is the one. So here we input our license key. You should have received this via email or text file. I happen to have mine saved in this text file, license.txt. So I'm copying it to the clipboard. Now we paste and hit save. Done. Now we have just a couple more administrative bits to take care of at the AEM side, and we'll be ready to make image galleries. First, we need to update a workflow model to include the ability to use Aperture Galleries. We do that here in Workflow Models. Let's update the DAM Update Asset Workflow, which makes some sense, right? Since we're, we'll be looking to use assets stored in the DAM. Right. Let's uh, then add it, and it's lots to sort through here. So let's filter by the word Quasar, and here. We're going to drag this down just below Product Asset Upload. And there we go. And then uh, top right, let's sync. And workflow is synced. Great, we can close out this tab. Next thing we need to do is mark some images in the DAM for processing. So let's go to uh, General Assets. files and let's pick something cool to look at these look nice there we go let's check that okay ruin that and a workflow the dam update asset which we talked about all right, so this takes a few seconds. And while the images are being processed, you'll get this flag. And when they're done, you'll see the new flag. Let's wait for them all to get done so we can see what's happened. Take a couple of refreshes for that. All right, good enough. Let's check the information on this image. And here you'll see all of the Quasar tags that have been added. 
All of these were generated through artificial intelligence. Uh, you can tell I didn't have to type anything, and neither will you. All right, so let's add this aperture component to our template. All right, here's all the templates to the site. Content page makes sense. So let's click the pencil, look inside, layout container, and there we see aperture gallery added to the end, to the last one. But let's uh, look inside and make sure that, yes, it's checked. This might not be checked in your installation. If it's not, this is where you enable it. And let's exit here. And we're done configuring. Now let's go build the gallery. We're going to create a new page in the We Retail site we've been using to demo. We'll make the page here. Great page. We'll base it on the template we just edited, content page. We'll give it a friendly name, My Gallery. All right, let's go there. Here's our page. Now you'll see the assets that are already in place available for us to use. But let's go to the components and aperture galleries first on the list. We're going to get rid of this breadcrumb, which we won't use. And then either drag aperture gallery right there. Or you can also select from the drop down here. And here we are. So let's do some configuration. Here we add our first gallery. Let's give it a friendly name. Let's say My Gallery. Hmm, my first gallery, since it is my first. It's associated with a folder in the dam. If I remember, experiences, Arctic surfing, these are going to be the images. Or, in second thought, let's associate with an entire set of assets. There. Why not? And that's our gallery. Now let's continue configuring. Under renditions, you'll see a number of sizes. This will be the set of sizes that you will see close-ups and thumbnails. This is, of course, completely configurable, but these sizes look okay, so I'm going to use the defaults for now. All right. In gallery, you can customize so many aspects of how your gallery will look. Margins between thumbnails, alignments, whether or not to show captions, uh, randomize. As you can see, it's just more options than we have time to discuss. So I encourage you to read through the documentation for explanations on each of these points. Let's go to slider and you'll see again a very large number of options on how to uh, present your images in uh, slider or carousel form. There, there uh, are options for transitions, for autoplay, for uh, auto resize, and so on. Again, I refer you to the documentation for more details on these. The defaults are pretty good looking, so I'm going to accept them. And uh, here's our gallery. Because of where we linked, we can navigate across all our demo until we find a set that we want to preview. So let's drill in. My first gallery has these folders. There's some products. Let's 
We got some experiences. Let's go check out Arctic Surfing. And here's our slider. Let's expand it a little bit so we can see the thumbnails. And you can see a progress bar occurring there so you can see that moves at the speed of the transition time. Now here's some images that are still processing, but the completed images are as expected. The size of the large rendition. You can enable or disable thumbnails. You can download, you can share, you can full screen. Everything you might expect. And you can do a search. Here you can search by those tags that were auto-generated by Quasar. Again, no input on my part. These images are fully searchable now thanks to the power of Aperture and Quasar. Thank you for joining me. I've been Ariel for PySource. For more information, please check out www.pysource.com.